us over at TDH love our Skodas. We've done n number of videos on all the types of VRS that are available in the country. We've done one on the Octavia Mark 1 VRS. We've done videos or we will be doing videos on the Octi 1.8 soon. We've covered Octavia VRS 230s, we've covered Octavia VRS 245s and we've covered all sorts of builds out of there. Stage 2, Stage 3, all-wheel drive cars, some insane projects throughout the way. Heck, we've even made our own project, Laura. But there is one question that's at the back of every Indian's mind and that is, Kitna Deti Hai. After the n number of mods you do to all of these cars, you know for a fact that the mileage is going to go for a toss. So today, we're exactly here to find out that. Today, we are going to be taking both of these cars to N1 Racing down in Lower Peril in Bombay. And on the way, I'll be driving the red BRS over here to see how much it fares in like a highway situation, how much mileage it gives us. We have just crossed the first toll. Anirudh was uh, driving the car before because he just wanted to see how the car was feeling after the map had been put on. So he, we were just doing a, like a few pulls and we were seeing some acceleration tests and we were just seeing how the car performs now. So we stopped right after the first toll and as you can see we've reset the fuel economy meter and now we shall head on our way to Bombay. We're about to enter a, enter a tunnel. I mean, when you've got a stage 3 car and an exhaust, for these small little moments, pilot can take the back seat. <laughs> Since we've had our fair share of fun in the tunnel and we've had a lot of pops and bangs. Now it's time to start hypermiling and get the most out of the economy. We're just about to start the straight just before Lonavla, and um, for now I see that we're getting around 12 kilometers to the liter. And now we know. Oh, it just increased to 12.1. So let's see what we get at the end of the expressway. Oh, it's already 12.2 also. So I think we'll get a decent figure. Let's see. So we've just stopped at the Indian Oil Petrol Pump right before the food court and we've uh, just stopped to fill fuel and um, so like till the time we reached here we were just looking at the stats and everything so we've increased the range by 50 kilometers when I started off the range was showing 150 kilometers and now it's at 200 and we are getting around 17.4 kilometers to the litre which is absolutely insane for a state 3 400 bhp 2 liter engine i mean it's absolutely nuts i think that's more than enough i don't think you would want anything more than that in a petrol car so that's great We've left from the food court and we were stuck in like a small 15 minute jam at the Tolnaka itself. So we lost some time over there and now we are on our way to Bombay. We should be there. We should be finishing the expressway in about let's say 10 minutes. 
and as of now we're still averaging around 16.2 kilometers to the liter which is not bad at all and i'm pretty sure we could get more but at the same time the way the traffic is and plus it being a friday a lot of cars are on the road so you can remove more it is possible but for now the way the conditions are 16.2 is pretty decent So the usual route that we take to go to N1 is via the Vashi Bridge but when we were checking on the maps we saw that there was a massive 2 hour delay over there so what we decided to do was we decided to head towards Airoli take the Airoli bridge and then after that join the Eastern Express highway which would in turn lead us to Parel as well because it has saved us quite a lot of time and we did face a lot of traffic on the way to Airoli as well but even after that the average is around 13.5 13.4 which is not bad at all i mean 13 and a half is still pretty decent considering the amount of fact the amount of traffic we were in and we actually saw a car had an like we also saw a car having an accident and it was a big debacle but it's fine so it's taken us quite a lot of time today but yeah in terms of mileage we're still pretty decent not bad So we finally reached N1, and it's taken us too long to come here today. There was way too much traffic on the road, probably because there were a bunch of accidents on the way, or because the weekend is near, or some like whatever the reason it is. We're finally here, and as always, it's a candy land. And today, majority of the cars over here are VAC cars. We've got two Loras over there. We've got two VRSs that we've come here with. We've got a 328i, which is not VAC, but it's definitely a German car. Uh, we've got another Lara which is inside on the dyno as we speak. Then there is another very special, special wag that's being built over here. I mean, to be very honest, this is a proper, proper candy land. And I know for a fact, whenever Soham will look at all of these Loras, he would just want to make his car stage three with all the other upgrades. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of time, we took a lot of time to come here. Too much traffic, a lot of accidents on the way, a very massive detour that we had to take, but. Finally, we're here, and well, N1 is N1. It's always Candyland. So, a big shout out to Etuners India and the Mechanics Automotive for inviting us on this trip. Both of these brands always support our wacky and weird ideas, just like this video. If you are from Mumbai or Pune and are looking to upgrade your wack car into a proper monster. The Mechanics Automotive is the place to go and E-Tuners is the official tuning partner. So this crazy VRS you see with us has been built by these brands. So go check them out. So here are the final figures. We averaged a super impressive 17.4 kmph on the highway. We were not really hypermiling the car and were doing some unnecessary accelerations, pulls and downshifts along the way. According to us, if you really really want to extract the maximum fuel economy, this stage 3 VRS can maybe creep up to something like 20 kilometers per liter as well depending on the conditions. When it came to the city, standstill traffic really killed the economy, yet still the average consumption only went down to 12.5 kmph. All in all, according to our calculations, we reached N1 Racing from the Mechanics Automotive, which is a 150 km trip in around 12 liters of fuel, which is around 1500 rupees worth of fuel. Not bad at all. So, well, that concludes it. So, thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram, say uh, Instagram and मैं आउटरो करता हूँ आपको